Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It, the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today guys, I want to talk to you about why all sunshine makes a desert, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys have heard that one before, but uh, I heard that years ago and it makes sense. I mean, if you think about like if you have uh, a vacation, right? And let's say you live like in the Midwest or someplace that has all the seasons and you have those terrible winter months, which I despise. And when I retire, I am going south. Oh, you know it. I'm going to stay there. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, if you like live, let's say in Hawaii and it's beautiful all the time and it's paradise, well, where are you going to get away to? that's going to, um, you know, be better than that, right? So I'm not saying you should like have a hellacious, terrible life and live in a place where the weather's always crappy so that you can enjoy your vacation, but it's just giving you a perspective on, you know, life and whenever you have some good times and good things happening, um, you know, it's, it's good. It's real good. And, um, you know, let's say you have your um, six days of clean eating and one day that's a cheat day, you know. Um, you really, really enjoy that pizza or ice cream or whatever it is that you like to eat, an indulgence, right? And, um, but if you eat it every day, let's say you eat McDonald's every day, and all of a sudden it's like, eh, just another day, another McDonald's, another pound on the scale, whatever, right? I feel like crap, blood sugar's dropping again. Um, makes a desert because you can't do that all the time and uh, sustain a higher performance or higher quality of life and better health. So if you have nothing but like, um, you know, good times, like you don't work, right? And you just sit there and you're not productive, you're not doing anything. Um, it's going to get real boring. You know, your sense of self-worth is going to suffer. You know, always looking to make, you know, easy street is not going to complete you in life. It's not going to make you happy. And it just works against you, whether it's your health, your body, um, composition, or, um, you know, a lack of productivity isn't going to make you happy by seeking uh, a path of ease, right? And the thing is, is that a lot of times if we get into those ruts, then we switch over to something called the pain of change versus the pain of staying the same. So until it's painful, you know, until the pain of staying the same is worse than the pain of change, you know, meaning like you go to the doctor, you get a bad report. Now you have to change your lifestyle because you're going to die or you're going to have your leg amputated or whatever it is, right? Until that pain of, of change is less than the pain of change, uh, than the, than less than the pain of chain of staying the same. It's easy for me to say, um, you know, most of us human nature is not going to, um, make change that easy. So just a thought, all sunshine makes a desert. You need rain, you know, you need the seasons in your life because then and only then can you appreciate the good times and appreciate what you have. If you haven't had carbs in a month and you have like a spoonful of mashed potatoes, that tastes like ice cream to you. You know, you should, you should practice some self-restraint, you know, some discipline because discipline is good and discipline gets you a lot in your life. So think about that. Just some common sense things, but common sense isn't so common, I have found, even with myself. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. Hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.